Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to hide your files and folders from hackers, especially from cyber criminals who steal your information, such as your identification, your bank accounts, and etc. Before we go further, let me tell you a story. One day, while watching videos by the security professional Loy Liang Yang, a YouTuber who creates content related to ethical hacking and cybersecurity, he offers training and tutorials for thousands of people who want to learn more about cybersecurity and ethical hacks. So I came across a fascinating demonstration in which Loy Liang Yang showcase how easily he could gain full control of a computer remotely using Kylie on a Linux system and a tool named Coadic. In a matter of minutes, he takes full control of a target machine. Then he uses the DIR or dir command, dir for directory, on his Linux system to view all the files and folders stored on the victim's PC, including OneDrive folder. The most shocking part was that he did not need the victim's passwords to access the cloud. The victim's computers are the gate to the cloud. Please note, in real life, cyber criminals won't use the same tools such as Coadic. They use sophisticated techniques to inject their codes onto your computers. His demonstration inspired me to create this video that would help people who are using Windows Home Edition to protect data in case their computers are fully taken by hackers because Windows Home Edition does not offer BitLocker encryption. The motivation behind my video was twofold. Firstly, it bothered me that many secure cloud services came with costs in the long run. At the time being, providers like icedrive.net charged $20 annually. pcloud.com offered a lifetime plan for $150 and sync.com had an annual fee of about $90. We wanted to offer an alternative that could help you take control of your data without breaking the bank and you can still use your free Google Drive. In addition, by using tools like Cryptomator and Veracrypt, you can protect your personal information even in the face of new threats. So without further ado, let's see how it works. To get started, head over to cryptomator.org slash downloads and grab the latest version 1.8.0. The installation process is straightforward. Simply accept the agreement, click install, and you're good to go. In the following section, I'll walk you through setting up your first vault on OneDrive. We all know personal vault on OneDrive offers encryption. However, we don't know if we're the only ones who have the key to our personal vaults. If you want an alternative, then Cryptomator is good to go. When you launch the program, take a few moments to explore some preferences. If you want to support the team behind Cryptomator, you'll find a link below for more information. On the General tab, you will find some options worth checking out. While the Interface tab allows you to customize the language, the Virtual Drive tab offers choices for volume types. And on the Update tab, you can easily upgrade to the latest version. Let's create our first vault. You can give it any name you like, for example, encrypted in uppercase. We are creating the vault on OneDrive, so you will see it appear right there. Verify the location and click Next. Now, it's time to set a strong password for your vault. Remember to use your own password and store it in a safe place. If you like a recovery key, click Yes, otherwise click No. If you choose Yes, you will be provided with a recovery key, which you can copy and store securely. Click Next to proceed. To use the vault, you will need to unlock it first. And then reveal the drive. Reveal simply means opening the door to the vault. The door in this case is a drive letter. Once unlocked, you will notice it mounted as the E drive. Next, we move all our folders and files to the vault. Simply select all the folders, press Ctrl X on your keyboard, right click in the E drive space and select paste. All your files and folders are now securely stored in the vault. Working with files in the vault 
It's just like working with them on a local drive. When you're done, click the button to lock the vault. Locking it means closing the door. In this case, removing the drive letter. The next time you access your OneDrive, you'll find the vault right there. If you need to customize your vault, we have the vault option menu. You can change the vault name, idle time, and even the mounting point. For example, you can change the drive letter to X. And the next time you reveal the vault, it will be mounted as the X drive. Let's take a quick look at my vault on OneDrive. Even if someone gains access to my OneDrive, they won't be able to see my files and folders within the encrypted vault. It provides an extra layer of security. Next, I'll show you how to create another vault, this time on Google Drive. If you're a Google Drive user, you will find this useful. We'll follow the same procedure. Add vault, create a new vault, give it a name, for example, encrypted on GD in uppercase. In this case, I will select a custom location, pointing it to my drive. In case you don't know, my drive is a drive created by Google Drive for desktop. Set a password for the vault, and if you desire a recovery key, click yes, otherwise click no. Now, we have successfully created the vault on Google Drive. Unlocking it will mount it as drive E, allowing you to move your files and folders to the vault just as before. You can work with your files and folders in the vault just as you would on a local drive. When you're finished, click on lock to secure your vault. If you ever want to change the mounting point, it's as simple as before. You can customize it to your preference. Now, let's explore how encryption helps protect your sensitive information. As you can see on the screen, both of my vaults are currently locked. Imagine someone gaining full access to my computer remotely. If they explore my OneDrive folder, they will find the encrypted folder, but it won't reveal any valuable information. The same applies to my Google Drive. They will only see scrambled data. In the next part, we'll change the vault name on OneDrive for consistency purposes and introduce another tool for encrypting files and folders in large containers on local drive. Visit the Vericrypt website and download the latest portable version. Portable means you don't have to install it on the Windows operating system. Extract the zip file to a folder, for example, Vera. Within the Vera folder, run Veracrypt directly by clicking on the corresponding file if you're using Windows. Let's quickly create a container by launching the program and clicking on Create Volume. Select Encrypted File Container and choose standard Veracrypt volume. You can select any location on your local machine for the volume, such as the documents folder. Name it encrypted on CD in uppercase. The default encryption and hash algorithms are sufficient, so no changes are needed. Define the size of the volume, let's say five gigabytes, Enter your password. If you intend to store a file larger than 4 gigabytes, select yes, otherwise select no. Let's assume I have a 4 gigabyte database file, so I have to choose NTFS. Don't make any changes to Windows Fast Startup. We have successfully created the encrypted volume. Within the program, you'll find a list of mounting points where you can mount the encrypted volume and use it as a local drive. For example, select X, choose your volume, click on mount, and enter your password. Now, 
you have the X drive where you can move your private data in. Select the folders on the source, press Ctrl X and press Ctrl V to paste them into the destination. Once you are finished working with your files, click on Dismount to secure your information within the encrypted volume. So basically, this is all about how to hide your files and folders from hackers. If you found this video helpful, please support us by clicking on the subscribe button and see our next video. Thank you for watching.